Alright guys, this week's video is going to be all about the best pet lizards in the reptiles category. Um, I'm going to do next week's episode, next week's show is going to be best pet snakes. And then the next one's going to be turtles or, and tortoises. And then the next one's going to be, I don't know, just the reptiles category. And then, and then maybe we'll do a mammals category. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this week's video. It's time for the question of the week. What is the most venomous snake I've ever encountered so far? Is it A, the western diamondback rattlesnake, B, the common copperhead, or C, the coral snake? Keep watching to see if you're right. Number five is the green iguana. Now, I'm, I'm not saying these are bad pets. I'm just saying that these are really hard to take care of. They get up to six feet long, weigh up to 13 pounds, and they are a tropical lizard, so they do require a high humidity and a high heat uh, type deal going on in their enclosure. Um, they are not; they are very cheap. The green ones are, at least. They are very cheap, and that's what gets a lot of people fooled into buying them. They see this cute little green lizard at Petco for ten dollars, and then they buy it. Next thing you know, they have a six-foot long dragon in their house, and they have no idea what to do with it. So let's go on to number four. Number four is the Chinese water dragon. These guys resemble the appearance of an iguana, but are a little bit different. They are a tropical lizard, but they do not get as big. They do require usually a pond in their enclosure. So does the iguana most of the time. Um, they do require high humidity and really high heat. They do both the iguana and the Chinese water dragon require UV setups. So, both of these lizards are pretty expensive to set up, very expensive. Um, the iguana I'm getting cost over $500 to set up. So, anyway guys, let's go on to number three. What you're seeing here is a savanna monitor. Now, number three actually includes monitors and tegus. These guys are number three just because they get really big and they require a large amount of space. But they are not tropical animals, most of them at least, and they do not require, um, you know, a really high humidity. So, but they do require UV, UV setups, and they do require heat, like all reptiles. They do require a relatively high wattage of heat because most of them are desert, if not savanna type lizards. So let's go ahead and go to number two. Number two is the leopard gecko, or Leo as some people call them. These guys don't get too big. The giants reaching about, I believe, 10 inches, something around there. Um, they do not require UV setups. They do require heat, and they do perfectly fine in a rack system with flex watt heat tape. These guys are number two just because, like I said before, they don't get too big. They don't require a UV lighting setup. And they're just, they'll do just fine in a racking system with a pretty pretty large tub about a 28 quart tub is pretty good and um so let's go on to the number one pet lizard what is the most venomous snake i've ever encountered so far if you chose b the common copperhead you are 100 percent correct good job the number one pet reptile that i think a lot of you guys would enjoy keeping is gonna be the bearded dragon. Now you guys may be saying, why would you put your the iguana that you're about to get at fifth and a bearded dragon that you don't have at first? Well, I'm doing this for you guys. I can take care of an iguana. I know what I'm getting in into. But a lot of people, they you can ex, you cannot you can expect to get this animal maxed out at about 18 inches. But they do require UV lighting and a high wattage bulb just because they are uh, desert animals. But these guys, like, like I said again, max out at about, at about 18 inches. You can get them set up in a good three foot long cage. That'll work out really well. Or uh, you can go even bigger if you're having more. But um, I hope you agreed with my list and this pretty much concludes it. All right, that concludes the lizards in the reptiles. I will make, come out with a snake episode of this type series that we have going on. Um, but I hope you agreed with this list. Put in, in the comments down below if you have any questions about any of these animals. Because like I said, I love all animals and know how to take care of pretty much every single animal on this list. 
So be looking out for uh, next week's video about snakes, best pet snakes, like this is best pet lizards, look out for that other one. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. Have a good Monday tomorrow, push through it. But for you kids watching this, it's summer, you don't have to worry about a thing. But anyway guys, I will see you guys in next week's video. Have a good rest of the week.